At Companion Animal Alliance, some animals were in luck since the start of the pandemic. Within 24 hours of the governor's stay-at-home order, we were able to get out 130 pets into individual foster homes. Emily Jackson with the shelter says the coronavirus pandemic can be hard on animals just as much for humans. The shelter started multiple resources for pet owners struggling to meet their animals' needs. Can you afford pet food, vaccinations this month or not? Um, once we started to realize that this was a, a bigger challenge, and particularly in Baton Rouge, we opened a pet food pantry at our shelter um, in hopes that it would ease the blow a little bit for those who were in need. Other than the pandemic, the shelter is also thinking about animals struggling during the 2020 hurricane season. Still today, working with Hurricane Laura, evacuees in Baton Rouge, providing much needed food and pet supplies, and we're doing that in collaboration with state officials. While pets and their owners may be in a difficult time, the shelter wants you to remember one thing. Number one piece of advice we'd like to say is to not feel ashamed if you're struggling. This has been a strange time to be at home as we've all been at home and not pets and children, it, it adds a whole layer of, of difficulty and we understand that and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, we want nothing more than for families to be able to keep their pets in their homes. We know that that's where they're happiest. Anam Siddiqui, BR Proud.